What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my own Empire Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, we are uh, just about finishing off our Balkans push as our troops sail on the way to India. So first we have to take Belgrade. Uh, I would auto-resolve it, but it would damage the army to the rear. I just don't really want to do that in a minute. We're just going to sweep in and knock out this small garrison. So let's take them out. And we are very much on our way to securing this part of the continent as well as advancing on to some key Ottoman territories in Anatolia. But the main thing, the main change, the main uh, new event is the invasion of India. Obviously all of our troops are embarked and they're sailing over there right now. So next turn should be when they arrive. Then we can land at Bengal and then just advance hard and fast out west. So let's take my field artillery, deploy them out wide on the flank to get a good firing position. Let's get our... Oh, forgot a set of guns. There we go. Deploy my howitzers behind the line. But because we know the enemy is just a handful of units and some of those are irregulars, we're just going to swarm in and casualties be damned. I'm going to advance up aggressively with my pikes on either flank, treating them as though they were cavalry. My light foot can go on the right flank and skirmish around. General can join the right flank. These marines can also... Oh, these are my pikes, sorry. They look, look kind of like marines from this far back. Let's turn the sound down on my end. There we go. pretty much just give them an attack order right from the off. Because <laughs> if you want to... If they want to make something of this, then we will absolutely shatter them. So these men are all going to push up like this. It's probably going to result in a giant melee brawl and that's okay. Yeah, you do have to. We do have to kind of not be too slow because they are trying to quick climb us. So our pikemen can head off the Bashi Bazooks. Apologies, everyone. I just a sneeze came in super quick and I couldn't get to the button in time. Actually, bring my garrison, bring my cavalry in to fight the Bashi Bazooks, because one good charge will probably be enough to make them rout. Pick new hearts targets. There we go, they've been surrounded and engulfed on all flanks by people who desperately want to do them some harm. You have to be careful with the Garrison Islamic Swordsmen. So my cavalry run out, my pikemen charge on. New men push around a bit wider. go. We're starting the the battle against this unit of firelock armed populace. Let's start to quick climb them. Start to quick climb the Muslim to the rear. So my pikemen now need help. They're losing men thick and fast. These Zamandari Zamandari Zamandiri horsemen Zamandari horsemen should go down pretty quick. But my Crusier charge should cripple the Garrison Islamic Swordsman unit. devastating quick climb shot there. Yeah, there we go, the cut the Islamic swordsmen are gone. Switch my howitzers to round shot just to prevent too much more friendly fire. Advance my couple of units up here. So the guns to square off against this garrison unit here. Our pikemen have stopped it engaging, but let's make them re-engage. 
Yeah, my skirmishers are back here, just opening fire on the troops that flee. Enemy general's been killed. Horsemen have been routed. Form line. Yes, Aurelia routing. There we go. Bing, bang, boom. Belgrade is ours, and there's not really much point continuing the action. Because there's no... The army will be destroyed, and there's not many, many troops. I mean, you could chase them down to get to you know squeeze out a little bit more experience but i wasn't that worried about that about getting the experience for this army because we've got quite a decent amount of experience more is always better but it feels like there's always an upper limit because eventually you just you know try, taking any sort of damage just knackers your ability to make to get experience I'm going to put both of my agents into Istanbul, just so I can make one of them pop out and head over to Ankara. Actually, you might be... well, no. Once um, Sophia is secure, this agent can then drive north. So neither of you guys can engage that um, Prussian unit. You're holding position ready for Klausenberg to be taken. You're just defending... The flank of Minsk from enemy forces, although you are now looking ripe for a general. Adam Shaw. You need cavalry, my good sir. Let's get two heavy cavalry and a hussar unit, because that's kind of what feels right. I like, I like using heavy cavalry in British armies, because it feels more correct. Obviously, the Ottoman armies here have just... They're going on a bit of a... Um, a grand tour to try and raid stuff. So we've got one force here under Lewin Mayhew trying to intercept. But in the grand scheme, we've got a lot of troops here just slamming east, so it's not really a, a concern. Oxford has now run out of stuff to research, so Salamanca. Thank you for your service. Oxford can take up the... Oxford can take up the, uh, the responsibilities now, because that's the last... Thing to research and I know people have asked have I got fast research on I don't I just quite aggressively go for schools and upgrading those schools early on okay so Paul Grattan requires men let's get some Swiss line you can still recruit line infantry light infantry rather actually I might recruit some Get rid of mercenaries, just to add a bit of pop. That'll be 10 units and this army will be finished. Ridley Dawes, he has too much cavalry. Maybe take the lances out for another army. So let's pick up some guns for you. Get some 24 pounder howitzers. Where's the 12 pounder foot? 24 pounder foot. There we go. So what's that? That's five artillery units. One, two, three, four, five. So you've got spaces for three more units. Garrison guards aren't a bad shout. I want garrison guards plus a unit of. Where are they? You are here somewhere. So most of these units are units I can either recruit in England or in my colonies. There we go, that's what I was after. Swiss Pikes. Because then that will be you guys full. That's two more armies to throw into the fray. And obviously we do still have just a bucket load of troops elsewhere. Here's Hamish Boyle. No, you can't leave. You can't really leave Venice yet, but let's recruit a couple of light dragoons to act as a garrison. Rome has built an industrial building here. Okay, I'm not going to tax Rome just in case. Let's upgrade. The commercial port at Taranto, because that'd be worth a load of cash. 
Tyrell Ashton, you're being replenished. Obviously Mark Cochran is just here. Just happily sieging out the Prussians and I'm okay with that. Robin Aga, Aja, Aga. You can leave Poland, but let's pick up a couple of infantry units as a bit of a bolstering of the garrison. Although you might actually take position near one of the ports ready for the invasion of Denmark. And that's to, to be honest, that's what these guys might go for. One of them position here ready to cross into Danish territory and another to invade Norway while this army invades Stockholm while another army being raised in uh, St. Petersburg. Well, not entirely raised, not, not like a, doesn't necessarily have to be a proper army, just enough to put the squeeze on them from the east. Actually, we do we do really have Eli Jacob. So let's bring you back to St. Petersburg to head up another force so I can get rid of that general's bodyguard I was recruiting. Recruit some bits and bobs. But then they can take Finland. And that would be pretty good. Obviously, we do still have to knock out Reykjavik at some point. Building up our Field Marshal of Europe. And I think Chasseur Britannique. That's pretty neat. But I think a lot of our cool infantry we have actually recruited. I mean, in the Middle East, we're pushing on to Baghdad, but we're out of range. You're not pushing... Well, you're pushing to Ankara. But you're... You should really engage this force here just to make the attack of Ankara that much easier. We shall win. Because this will be taking out a, a reasonable stack of Ottoman troops, taking them out to the east of Ankara, making them less likely to run up to the city and garrison it when we're right on the doorstep. So they don't... Well, right now it makes the capture of Ankara next turn potentially fairly simple. Uh, if we don't attack the army, they'll either attack the army that's attacking, that's going to attack Ankara, or they'll garrison the city and make the capture of the city that much more complicated. So it makes sense as we have a force right here with the movement points to attack. So we are going to advance and we'll put all my guns up on the hill. The howitzers, as is tradition, support the main battle line. Which, this is a delightfully flat map. So I can put the bulk of my cavalry out on the left flank with my general. And that should be... Should be okay. It is okay. You men advance. So the guns, I'm okay with doing whatever they want to do. Trot the cavalry up. Trot my cuirassier up. Howitzers. Trot brown shot on the camel nomads. They aren't a massive threat because we've got heavy cavalry. To be honest, I want all of my artillery focusing on their mounted elements. Are you charging? No, nope. well, they're skirmish cavalry anyway. Those no Sipahi aren't skirmish cavalry though. You men form square. The 85th engage with musketry. So I do you have Curassier ready if they wish to make a issue of it, which it sounds like they do. Well now I heard a charge somewhere. Okay, there they go. They're charging my square. I know there's an arch unit back there. Counter charge my Curassier into the into the square. That's the Sipahi and their Delhi infantry are there. So gen this general's bodyguard unit, go for that, they're, they're going to go for that archer unit to the rear, maintain the square, J 
general's bodyguards coming in, as is their right. But they're, they're, they're going to stand right in front of the Royal Cairo Guard. That's not a good idea. Sapahi have been destroyed. Delhi horsemen have been destroyed. Charge them. All my guns engage the horsemen. Get out of the square. Form line and engage. My cavalry can push around the flank. Ah, you found. There's a hidden unit of Bashi Basu. Good play by the AI there. That's when the Armenian archers fall. Now my general can run around the Bashi Bazooks. Slam some more cavalry into this combat because the camels are coming. I might have to peel the cuirassier away to fight the camel nomads. So let's make sure my cavalry, my, my cavalry is a bit further along. Push my right flank up. I don't like what my general. I don't, yeah. Go on, Flynn. See if you can hold out till the dragoons arrive. Slam! It's the camel nomads. Heavily damaged. Bring my other cavalry into the mix. Run a unit of dragoons to chase down the archers. Oh, I must have missed a unit there. Yeah, General's Bodyguard take out that unit of archers. You take out that unit of archers. You guys charge on and attack a different unit of archers. All of you, ceasefire. Artillery, ceasefire. And uh, let's just watch the uh, the slaughter unfold. Actually, you might go for a unit of Janissaries. Send a couple of units to try and attack troops that are a bit further away from the line. That unit of archers is... Ooh, where's the last one? It's not you. Keep attacking the Janissaries. I doubt you'll kill them. Well, you won't when I misclick like that. Knock out the Israeli. So only one unit needs to go over here. The camels, the camels are going to rout anyway. So they also come over here and fight the archers. To be honest, all just take out this unit right here. Because those Semini, yeah, there they go. They, they've got to the edge of the map. But we have knocked out the enemy army. And they've only got 382 men remaining as they fall back to the east. Excellent. Now Flynn can take a commanding position of the, in the nearby terrain to the east of Ankara to help block any armies coming in to help reinforce because they do cover the road. So they would have to go all the way around here which would slow them down significantly. Um, but apart from that I think that's all we can realistically do. Well, realist realistically what we need to do, like Ian Stevenson could go and hit Suduk in Abdi but I'm not worried about that. Let's hit end turn. Let's see. Understandably, <laughs> the Prussians desperately trying to steal whatever technologies they can to help hold the city, but uh, they know the end is coming. They only have one army in the field. Enemy sail Ooh! Defensive action! Yes! Because this army that's, that's coming in to reinforce is depleted in most of the important areas, and this army coming in is also depleted and very limited in artillery. So even though we took a few casualties, let's do it. Flingana there already highlighting his critical role in the operation. 
to secure Ankara. So we're going to dig in, spread our guns out. Well, spread two teams of our guns out. One of our teams of guns is ideally going to be behind the line trying to do some counter battery work. And then we shall push these armies back. I mean, there might be more hidden in the darkness coming, coming our way. Okay, so there aren't really any great positions to put guns behind the line. So three units there. So that's you guys. No, it wasn't these guys I deployed. You chaps deploy. I mean, I might be able to get away with putting them on. Eh, back here is not terrible. Oh, that's that's, that's the one of the units I deployed. There we go. How oh, it's just behind the line so they can be dropping quick climb. Cavalry on either flank. Some raw cavalry infantry guards as my reserves. Dragoons hold back. General spread out. Get the guns that are in the line to just focus on attacking. Well, the guns that are in the line just focus on well shooting whoever they like, really. Um, but the I might group these ones together. So this one's the one that's sat at the back. So when the howitz, enemy howitzers start arriving, like now, I want the 32nd Regiment of Artillery to focus on knocking down those guns. Switch to a fancy shot. Advance forward ahead of the guns. Needed. New men drop into square. If you don't drop into square, get out of square. Canister shot the Delhi Horseman. Shrapnel shot the Nizam that are coming in. Quick climb folks on that unit of Nizam and that unit. No, not the General's bodyguard. Camels coming in. Yeah, you can try and help out the Cairo. We'll try and help knock out the Cairo Janissaries. You men attack the yeah, attack the Nizam. They are the most important threat. Put my cavalry out on the flank. How's my counter battery doing? Ooh, what a time! So knocked out one gun. This unit on the flank isn't getting involved, so we're going to push them up. Actually, I might push this whole line up, because it looks like we're engaging... Oh, okay, we can see them. Desert War is probably causing a few issues. But I'm okay to leave them as leave them as is. And the Nizam, this unit of Nizam is just is not going to get into the combat. It's got a howitzer focusing largely on the threat that's coming in. So one's going to aim at this unit of mercenaries, and another is going to aim at that Riskers of Souls unit. Got a cavalry out wide. Let's take these two infantry units and pivot. OK, 
Kurdish Hillmen are going to support the Desert Warriors. My Curiosity are going to slam into that unit of Cairo Janissaries. So you men are going to be fire well off. Might kill a few men in our line infantry there. There we go. Cairo Janissaries slammed and they are broken. So let's take this flank, pivot it up. Continue to kill. Ooh, the, musket the musketeers or the janissaries are looking upset. Shrapnel shot, the risk is of souls. You men, shrapnel shot, the musketeers. Sekban janissaries look like they're after my cavalry, but they're having to run the gauntlet of my gun line to get to them. You keep charging down these Cairo Janissaries. You may as well try and kill a couple of units. You begin firing round shot because... I'm going to start advancing my men ahead of my gun line now. And I want to use the, the fact that the round shot does um, arc. Or it has a little more of a parabolic trajectory. Hit the horsemen. I would have liked to have charged down the, the, the uh, Janissaries with my cavalry, but that's not going to happen. I'm going to have to use my Dragoons for that. Canister shot the Grenadiers. Come on, there's only four Janissaries left. Now there's only three. There's only one. Now you men fire it well on again. Now my heavy cavalry is going to be well placed to chase down this Balik Janissary Musketeer unit. Good stuff. Advance my line to face down that Desert Warrior unit. Retargeting my howitzers. Desert Warriors are down, so let's take our line and reform. You might actually come back. Yes, look at the Sekban Janissaries fall. Okay, so they've been pushed back. Push my Cuirassier back as well. Get both my howitzers to work on the Camel Nomads. Get my 12 pounders to engage other people. Come on, there's two Janissaries left. There we go. So get lots of our artillery to focus on focus towards the rear. As we now begin to ratchet forward the pressure of our infantry line. Ooh, quick climb, eh? Might make all of my foot artillery engage the guns at the back. The howitzers are continuing to engage the camel nomads. And these Janus minute grenadiers should go down fairly quickly, and the Nizam lights should also suffer some minor existential problems. Existential, not existential. Some good artillery shots slamming home against the nomads.
Ooh. More shots home. They're increasingly looking unstable. So let's get my Crassier into the mounted Nizam. Bring my dragoons more into the fight. My howitzers target the unit of Nizam and the unit of Bashi Bazooks. So those Kurdish hillmen, if they decide to try and charge us, they will die very quickly. Let's do something a bit risky with my dragoons. Well, less risky now. We've got one gun left after that considered barrage, the most well crewed gun in all of Turkey. I think, though, the end is near for this force. Gets the herds, herd, the hillmen killed. Doing a good job against those Janissaries. Let's try charge some men in to try and knock out or well, to attack this mounted Nizam unit because it looks like they will disrupt. They will heavily disrupt our ability to destroy that Janissary unit that we'd like to kill. Well, they might have just drifted themselves back into the action to die themselves. Get my general out of here. Not my general. My curiosity to go knock out the last like Grenad Jan Janissary unit. My general can get over here and attack the Nizam Light Infantry. New men continue to advance we only have chiefly this Nizam unit to stop us ceasefire the foot artillery my dragoons can go knock out that 24 pounder howitzer unit because it's currently sat at the back doing nothing these cuirassier can go hit the 25th Try get you over here as well. Go get them, dragoons! Oh, I did not like that. I mean, I totally really didn't want them to charge into the back of the Nizam unit, but they might. The Nizam unit may well break anyway, in which case a couple of losses to friendly fire won't be the end of the world. So you guys don't fire. Howitzers cease fire. Everybody cease fire. You chase down the Nizam. I mean... Try chase down that Nizam unit? Where's my general? I mean, you can try and take them out, but you're probably going to miss. How it's a ceasefire. You're doing some good work against the Bashi Bazooks. I'll come back here and help Curacier knock out that unit of Nizam. They're going to rout successfully. So it's everyone against the first order Nizam infantry. So the thing is you never I think when you kill like the first unit, the first order originally, any units recruited after that point become the first. Oh no, it is my general. It's still it's these Semenes that are alive. I see. But still that was a devastating loss for the Ottoman Empire, looking to save their second city. Oh, I lost three thousand men. <laughs> I barely I didn't even lose four hundred. 
Back you go, you devils. Opportunity to intercept? Yes. Victory! <laughs> I'm going to water that as well. <laughs> yeah, they know. They're coming in. They know what's happening. But it will not save them. It will crucially not save them. Yeah, understandable. Oh god, I'm really don't, I'm not in an Ottoman fighting mood at the moment. <laughs> After those couple of actions... Interesting they didn't try and take out the... Um, well, they didn't go for the fort, but I, think I suppose they've not really got the strength to do that. If they, cause if, if they attack the fort and try to demand the surrender, we'll say no. And they will... We If we get one unit on the walls, they're going to struggle. If we've got two units, then they can't win. Not right, Denmark. You know the end is coming. You know the end is coming. So, 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 come on, let's get kicking. Rake in Württemberg. Not entirely useful. Just send them on a long walk towards Ardabil. So you, Hilario Huntsman, Baghdad is undefended, which means it should fall to a surrender. And it has. So let's fortify the city. Let's get rid of the university. Upgrade everything else. Including the roads. The minus five, once you get rid of the university, that will go down. Traits gained. Flingarn, a general of infantry. Plus 10% infantry units movement range. Minus 1 to morale. Plus 3 to command when needing infantry units. Oh dear. And Jareth Hutchinson is a corporal in gold braid. Which is excellent. So you're going to try to push that weakened force there. You will attack them, just not in the minute. Same as you will attack them, but not in the minute. <laughs> Yeah, raids. Raids galore. But that's okay. I can run these two units out of Warsaw. To hit Mr. Darnat. Proud and, victorious. and then push up to Laval. So if you put Klausenberg under siege for now... Yes, oh my god. Demand the surrender of IFC. Fortify it. Rebuild it. We still, we're already trying to convert it. So what we need to do is push you down to about here, then push you just to the south of the forest. Now we've got a, we've got, we have a, a decent line, here. Adam Shaw and his new army is well positioned to sit here. Because again, we, we could push on Kiev with a number of these armies. Richie Compton. Why not what? If I push these two armies down here, you can take the position at the east. You were going to support Cameron Napri Napier, who could do with better artillery, first of all, but mostly any artillery. So let's do a round of infrastructure building. Got some fleets arriving, which is going to be in India. Although not as many as we currently have on the way. I'm well aware that lots of these, position these um, territories in Syria could just get raided from the Ottoman Empire. So now I think, Mr. Boyle, your force can leave Venice because our Grin our um, dragoons can can uh, can make keep the city 
um, in good order. So, Mr. Boyle, get your armies aboard ship. Because you, good sir, are going to be off to America. So you're going to sit in Oran. We're going to briefly move this militia unit out of the out of the port. You can build a galley. We're going to continue on the infrastructure upgrading road before going um, before going off the track. We do want to keep our The stuff that's currently being built, I want to, as we've got a list of, you know, things that you can spend money on right now, I want to do that. Once we've finished that, any any gaps in that spending plan can be fixed. Come on, Mr. Ashton, replenish your troops. Farmland in Croatia. Trading port. Well... Upgrade that and the wineries and the church school in Croatia because they've all they're all going to show up. Commercial basin in Naples. I mean, we do need to take out the take out the uh, Knights of St John. Looks like Central Italy is quite well fixed. Okay, so what have we got? Belgrade needs money. Andrew Hardy can leave Sarajevo. Your. Ooh, can he? We can wait a turn. There's no harm in that. So Jude Abbott is replenishing. George Wade can push up. To be honest, can Jude Abbott leave Belgrade? Minus two. Yeah, minus two is theoretically okay if you want to maximise your advance, but it's better to leave it a bit. Here we've actually got quite a good block of troops, so I might want to bring an army down here to help push them east. You, on the other hand, good sir. I mean, I'm going to auto this fight because I'm going to fight others. Other better fights. Because attacking a... God, they haven't spent anything on this territory. So you men replenish pretty rapidly. Because we do have fleet arrived. Oh. <laughs> it's just regular old combat fleets. What about this one? Aha! Edgar Clark. The landing parties have hit Ceylon to secure the territory. I mean, again, this is going to be a... That's going to be an auto. <laughs> I do have some action in Europe to fight first against proper armies. So let's replenish this. Upgrade you. So I need to start recruiting. Well, when I max this out, I can start building ships at the fourth rate, I think, which are quite good for the, the raiding side of it, because they can hold their own. Workers are on strike in Morea, not anymore. Workers on strike in Poland, not anymore. Workers on strike in Croatia, not anymore. <clears throat> um, but firstly... Okay, let's repair that. Wow, well, is getting better roads, which is great. To be honest, this is completely unnecessary. Five, three happiness buildings in one territory. So I might knock this one down as it's already damaged. Um, let's take... This is our named army. Curtis Patterson. Let's take Klausenberg with our named force. So they have no defences. We're just going to storm in there and slaughter the militia army they've stood up against us and take it for the Greater British Empire. So it looks like it's going to be the next turn. Uh, so future <laughs> a future episode when we see... The actual invasion of India, because I'm not counting the taking out the Kandy rebels as being the invasion of India. Chiefly because I didn't actually fight it, and mainly because it's it's difficult to get too invested in fighting rebels, especially at this stage of the campaign, because they're incredibly weak. 
So my horse artillery, heavy horse guard art foot artillery is going to stay behind to the rear. Because we are going to advance. So everyone form a line. The green jackets and the sharpshooters are going to stay on top of the hill with Charlie's light dragoons and a unit of Charlie Scott's greys I should say. Heavy cavalry is going to be split up. Pikes are going to be on the left. General in the centre. So our battle line. Storm up to their gun line. There we go. So the artillery is just going to hammer. Is going to slam into these um, into the enemy artillery. Which is fair enough. They're an immediate threat, so I don't. I'm not, and I'm not really bothered about making sure that we knock out their infantry because I think it's going to be a fairly quick deal. So all these troops that are down onto the left can pivot, start clearing out the flank of the enemy position. Let's get the green jackets and the sharpshooters in position. So who's going to be first to open up? This regiment of foot, the mission line are in a good position. My grenadiers are in a good position. The auction number one are going to engage this unit of Feline that might be coming straight for them, but they are also going to get supported by skirmisher fire from on top of the hill. Advance, Charlie's Scots Greys. Law to the Feline, get the Yorkshire's number one to push around the flank, skirmishes to continue holding around the flank. Let's get the second Royal Welsh involved, the first Royal Welsh are engaging in the main battle line. But the Garrison Islamic Swordsmen are not going to uh, survive this action, the Von Losberg Hessian line, now they're reloading after significant artillery fire. Charlie Scott's Greys is doing a real number against the Feline. They may well get another experience experience chevron out of this. Run up my heavy cavalry. Run up the cavalry. There we go. Yeah, you guys are engaging horsemen. To be honest, the flank is just broken. The, the army is just broken completely. I'm going after my skirmishes, though. I think everyone... It's, it's unfortunate the Royal Welsh Grenadiers are getting hit the way they have been because everyone else is focusing on different targets. I might give them a bit of artillery support. So the heavy, my heavy cavalry gun is going to slam into the Azar. Charlie Scott's Greys have destroyed a unit of Felae. Come on, take him out. There we go. Charge south. The main fight here is just a one mortar garrison unit. It's completely surrounded by my line infantry. So let's let my heavy cavalry. Everyone's reloading. Von Lossbergs are opening up first. They've shattered them. Dear, oh dear. Such slaughter. I'm going to continue this. I want to see if I can get Charlie Scott's Greys up another experience level. Yes, he's up to experience level three. Oh, most of these guys are going to escape, so that's going to be all she wrote near enough. But let's still try. 
the main thing is with this kind of experience is that all it takes is one dodgy combat and the um, you lose half your dragoons and then you, you drop down a, a, an experience level or two it's a garrison Islamic swordsman these aren't slouches there we go being a bit lazy because these guys are all going to route anyway there we go Transylvania is secured. So with my named army, I would like to try and keep them at the forefront of my campaigns. Or at least have them always be on the front line. And if they're in the if they're in position to attack, then I want them to. So let's get them replenished. Let's get the von Mossbergs down. Alright, experience level two. First and second Royal Welsh. The first Royal Welsh is at experience level four. The second are at three. Riflemen's Royal Brigade are at three. Yorkshire's number one are up at four. Clan Makada's up at three. I mean, this is becoming quite an experienced army. York, uh, I don't think. Now, these units are still as yet unnamed. I mean, I might take a liberty here. I've probably done it elsewhere, but I've forgotten. There we go. Green jackets, the 95th rifles. Yes. So I doubt you can leave immediately. Minus seven, right. So that you're not going to stay there for seven turns. Okay. When you're ready, you're going to start recruiting dragoons. To take over, but you're all done. You're en route, Sophia. You are reinforcing. Oh god, another. <laughs> it's a long way from Swiss Pikes. So, again, with the Pueblo nations, I keep forgetting who they're allied with. Yeah, with Russia. So, when we attack. Ru well, it all, when, when we attack Russia, it all kicks off with them as well, which isn't a. which isn't a problem. Right. So Lewin Mayhew. Although your army did get the sugar kicked out of it. Let's see if I can run up behind you like this. They've elected not to reinforce, not to intercept me. So we can attack and try and push them towards Moscow where the most of my troops are. Because if I attack them this way, they'll run towards St. Petersburg. And I don't want them running up here and raiding and it's just a bit of a mess. Let's try and see if we can destroy these two Ottoman armies to the north. Hopefully, the uh, the, the secondary army that's reinforcing will be destroyed completely, and this army will be well, at least so damaged that it won't be a risk to any of my major cities. And then it will they'll either retreat to uh, reorganize with another force, or they can be destroyed at our leisure. So let's put our heavy guns behind the lines. It looks like we're going to be... well, I am advancing. Let's try and do things how you're supposed to do it. Let's put a skirmish line up. You are too weak for operations. To be honest, the foot guards, even though they are also very weak, I actually do want them because they are at the very least, they're sturdy. There we go, Mr. Mayhew. Oh, God, alive. I mean, how it says I've got quick climb loaded, but switched to round shot. Attack the horsemen. You guys turn your pistols off. And engage the artillery. Okay, let's try and... Okay, right. You guys are all aiming at the wrong thing. But they were probably your closest unit when I... When battle was originally joined, so... Can't blame you entirely. I 
because one artillery team and here come imagine being this guy get your pistols out oh no not the archers Artillery. Shoot it, Steph. At least the Zimindari horsemen are shattered. We might be able to actually charge into the archers. Okay, no. Run! <laughs> yeah, they see skirmishes, they just go for it. So this line, halt fire until the skirmishes are past you. You can fire. You can fire. You can fire. Big old melee. Okay. Let's go. Skirm well, our skirmishers will transition out to the left flank. Once she goes, knock out the Delhi horsemen. I mean, this should be over fairly quickly. It's only archers, Muslim, and general's bodyguard against two heavy cavalry units. It's going to get a bit chewy here. Ah, pikemen, run! Hopefully you guys can knock out. Good, you've routed the bashies. Cavalry back. Also retarget our units. Fire at will on. No, run away. Foot guards engage the pikes. Let's allow this unit of foot guards a good opportunity to do some damage. Slam my cavalry into the rear. They get the morale. They go, they've, they've, their morale's been broken. So let's just follow. Let's just maintain the the devastating morale effect. Feline musketeer and semini. I mean, that's actually okay. Where's my general's bodyguard? Let's throw my foot guards into the fight. Bashi Bazooks on the flank could do with a bit of killing. But there's another unit that showed up. Another General's Bodyguard unit. So our, our right flank is looking vulnerable. But we do have troops that can support... Curiosity are going to have to make their way back over here pretty rapidly as well. I can really do with you guys winning this fight. <laughs> Is that a unit of Feline that came in? Yeah, obviously the most one of the more frustrating units to come in. really just ran them in front of the Delhi horsemen. Shouldn't really have charged them in there either. Try 
try to get them around the flank into the rear of the Bashi Bazook line. Artillery fire round shot of the Armenian archers. Okay, my general got caught by pikemen, which is obviously not what I would like to have happen. You went slam into the rear of the Bashis. Good. This should look pretty awesome. Watch out, Bashis! There's a bunch of angry guys on horses right behind you! There we go. Focus on how it is on quick climbing the pikes. So then this infantry push up to form a new gun line. And there goes the unit of Feline. There goes the general's bodyguard. Fortunately, we haven't killed any either of the generals that joined the joined the battle over here. Artillery to round shot, engage the Delhi horsemen, get my general. You guys cease fire, get to the top of the hill, get my general's bodyguard down here to start chasing down some of these pikemen. There is still a Semini unit dug in back there, which I might actually advance my skirmishes to begin taking pot shots at. Because elsewhere, it's just a case of marching up our albeit weakened battle line, but still very competent. Give the cavalry that's pushing up a objective or target to chase down. Pike units. See, I love pike units so much, that's why whenever I see them I do just have to desperately pursue them with everything I've got. So you're engaging the gun team, which, while useful, is not the target I want you to be focusing on. But let's speed up time, because it's just a... I was about to say just a unit of Semini. That's a Bashi Bazook unit that's activated. I mean, they're after my general, but he's on a horse. That's not going to happen. So we are getting hits against the Semini that are currently dug in. They're losing, starting to lose men. Get all my artillery to hit this unit of Bashis. Most of my heavy cavalry is over here killing other bashies. All good stuff, but it's still. Let's pivot some of these troops to provide a bit of a gun line. To be honest, I probably need more troops to deal with the Bashis than I do with the Semini. Like, I wonder where you're going. I don't think. Well, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure where they're, who they're trying to focus on, if anyone. It doesn't matter. You men cease fire. 
chase down the Semini, because they're... No, chase down the Bashis, because they're much more worthwhile to annihilate than the Semini. Damn right, continue. This is what happens when you defy us, Ottoman Empire. There we go. Good stuff. Oh, these guys are trying to push the gun away with them. <laughs> so I've set my cavalry to chase them down. If you guys can knock out the Bashis, which you have, go after the Semini. Because then you guys could have at these gunners, who have got a bit of a long way to go. Maybe they've been... Taken care of? They're still on the map. Oh, they're here. Okay, let's try... Oh, there's two crew here still. Right. There's one here and one here. Okay, that's why gunners can be a bit... Tricky to take out. Especially now. It still doesn't seem to be working. You guys are shooting at someone else entirely because you've got light, light infantry behaviour. We got one of them. Okay, now the last guy finally abandoned his gun. He became the target and then just immediately got shot. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, we lost a good number of men there, but their army was gutted and the small army has actually been destroyed so Lewin Mayhew you need to replenish Oscar Hardinge you can also push up to be honest Essek May you might be able to just auto resolve destroy them ah. well you all pursue them you're moving to St. Petersburg. And then this force, well, could you? Well, you guys could aspirationally attack. You're not gonna. We're gonna take Ian Stevenson and his force out of the fort and push against Sunduk ibn Abdi. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the destruction of yet another Ottoman force. There's only so many of these they can produce. Their army is crumbling away. And it's mainly due to us. So yeah, there's only so long they can continue this sort of losses. These sorts of losses. Radio. thanks for watching everyone. Hope you've enjoyed.